Hey guys, who fancies another weight test? So I am gonna do the Wet and Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. This is very, very popular with people, but again, this is one which has very mixed reviews. So I'm gonna put it to the test. So I've got mine in the shade Nude Ivory, which is um, a neutral shade. So I purchased this on eBay, and what I did love about this straight off the bat is when I purchased, um, it gives you what undertone um, the foundation is. So that's great, it makes it a lot easier for me. So what I'm gonna do today is just the foundation. I'm not gonna put powder on today. We're gonna change things up. I always do powder because I have combination skin. So I do get a bit oily in the T-zone, but I'm gonna just change it up a little bit today. I always put powder um, on my wear test, but just to really put this product to the test, we're not gonna do powder, we're not gonna do primer. Not that I tend to wear primer anyway. We're gonna put it just through the test. This is a matte foundation. So I'm interested to see if it will keep that oil away without any intervention. So I'm gonna do one side with a brush as always, one side with a sponge, and I'm gonna do one side with a moisturizer as well, just to see if it applies differently with that moisturizer. So I'm gonna go in with my Dove Silky Moisturizer on one side, and that'll probably be the sponge side as well. And yeah, let's just see if this foundation is gonna be any good. do its job and that needs to seep in for a few minutes before I touch that side of the face so as I said I'm not doing any intervention today with the foundation so I'm just using the original color as well so if the original color is too dark then it's too dark okay so I'm being very harsh on this foundation but I just want to change things up a bit and just rely completely on the foundation and the product claims rather than um, intervene with the color changing the color to suit me putting powder on to stop the oiliness um, I am being a bit harsh, but just change it up a bit. Why not? So this one doesn't have a pump. Now, personally, I prefer a pump, but that's just personal preference. It's not a big deal. Once it starts running out, we can just tip it upside down. Um, has a very strong smell to it, and it's quite a weird smell. It kind of smells like paint, which is kind of strange because it's like, well, what kind of ingredients is on here, in there? for it to smell like paint. I don't really know. Okay, so let's look at the color. The color may be a touch too dark. I'm not sure yet. But I'm gonna blend this in with my Real Techniques brush first. Um, this is my favorite brush, but I have kind of ruined it. So if I go in with the Kabuki brush in a second, um, it's because this brush isn't <laughs> working. So this is Real Techniques buffing brush. It is great when it works. But I tried to wash it after lots and lots of use and I literally could not get the foundation off and then it made my brush go funny. But um, yeah, let's see how this colour looks. actually really nicely I would say we're at a medium coverage because I can still see a little bit of redness peeping through underneath Um, I can still see my pores slightly but I do think that they may have even blurred um, my pores but yeah I think it's looking quite nice I think the color is okay from what I can see here so we just need to see if it oxidizes so if you're not sure what oxidizes means it means when you apply a foundation and then after a few minutes once it's dried and settled in that it goes a bit darker so sometimes you can buy a foundation which is the perfect shade for you and then all of a sudden after a few minutes after applying it it goes like a shade darker that means it's oxidized so it's something to do with the oxygen in the air that's kind of made it go a little bit darker on you um so we'll keep an eye out for that just to see if that happens but yeah i think it looks really nice at the moment so i'm gonna take another brush now so i'll take the kabuki brush which is normally a lighter coverage and i'm just gonna put more coverage on i don't need more but i always like to see if a foundation is buildable because some people will want full coverage and like to build upon their foundations so i'm gonna build on it 
just to see if it does go cakey. To see if we can get it up to more of a full coverage or at least close to, to it. with this real techniques brush so I'm just kind of going over it to smooth it out a bit more it did go a little bit cakey with that other brush on top with more coverage and the application just didn't look as nice so I'm just changing back to the other brush and I do feel like this brush is a lot nicer with it so that's something I need to remember as well not to use the kabuki brush with this foundation for my skin. I did mess up and go over because I forgot that I was just doing one side. So the chin I went all the way across with back stem. That's much better. Now I've gone over it. So that has built quite nicely now with this brush. And I would say, yeah, surely. Yeah, I think that's a full coverage. Actually looks really nice. Definitely matte which will be good, hopefully, for my oily skin. But yeah, I think that's looking quite nice. So, my usual spot here in the middle, if you've been watching my reviews for a while, you will know that I've got this weird spot in between my eyebrows, which goes really cakey, no matter what foundation I use. I've just got a dry patch there that never seems to go, even with my moisturizers and things. Um, so it's a little bit um, um, cakey in that area, but that's kind of in expected for me personally with the foundations. It's just a weird spot on my face that I have. But yeah, let's just go in now with a sponge and see if that applies any differently. <laughs> Okay, so I went in on two layers on this side and built it up just exactly like that side to see if it cakes up at all. Um, I don't think that they look any different from each other really. I think maybe it's a slightly lover, lo lover. It's a slightly lighter coverage in certain areas on this side, but it's still pretty flawless to be honest. And it covers my pores a bit nicer with the sponge. So in future, what I might do is just go with the uh, go with the brush and then just go over it with the sponge, in particular in the area where my pores are, because I feel like it's really blurred that side a lot more than that side. Although that side has still feel like it's blurred the pores a little bit, but I would just maybe tap over this area in particular just to get it that little bit more. But to be honest, they don't look much different from each other. This one's just a slightly uh, lighter coverage, maybe under the eye. But yeah, I'm actually quite surprised because I thought when I tried it recently, I didn't like it. So I'm quite surprised by that. I think it looks really nice. It's definitely matte. Um, I can feel, I feel like I can feel it drying almost as well. So that might be really good for you oily girls out there. Um, I'm not doing the rest of my makeup today. I'm just going to put a bit of blusher on to see how powder interacts with it on the cheeks. I'm not going over my eyebrows today. So it's just going to be like this. And it is going to look a little bit strange because that eyebrow, um, I think, has healed a bit thicker than that one. And another thing I've noticed in my videos they look kind of lopsided and I don't know what it is when I talk I raise my eyebrows but one of my eyebrows doesn't raise so one always looks higher than the other because I raise that eyebrow more than the other and I raise it higher just for some in future note because I always notice it in my videos and apparently I've got to do eyebrow exercises to fix it that's what the eyebrow uh, lady told me last time but anyway guys I'm just gonna put some blusher on and see how that looks but yeah I think it looks really nice so far 
Okay, so the blusher went on really, really nicely. I don't really have any complaints about this at the moment. I've just got a bit of cakiness here down uh, the middle where my eyebrows are, but that's what I get with every foundation, as I said. Other than that, I feel like we've got a full coverage. It's very matte. Um, one thing that I am noticing is that I can feel it on my face right now, which I don't particularly like, but it's not bothering me too much right now. I think it must be seeping in and doing its job. So that's kind of interesting um, because obviously you oily girls will really need that. So what I'm going to do now is put some setting spray on. So I'm not doing powder. So um, I felt like this way it can maybe work for two people. So with me not doing the powder, um, if you're quite dry and don't like to wear powder, um, then obviously you can see what this is going to look like without intervention with powder to see if it actually stays on the face. Um, and the setting spray alone just to see if that will work for you but i also think it's good for you oily girls as well to see if this works without um putting on powder for you as well so i'm just going to put some setting spray on okay guys all done so i'm going to check in every few hours to see how this foundation is wearing i'm really nervous because i've been wearing powder on my face for years so this is going to be a really interesting one to do it without any powder but i'll see you in a few hours to see if any oiliness has come through my t-zone um wish me luck i completely forgot to say that this makeup was all done at 10 past 10 in the morning So I've literally just come downstairs from doing my foundation and I walked past the mirror and I had a bit of a shock uh, because my face is looking um, a little bit darker but the colour seemed quite uh, correct upstairs so I don't know if it might have oxidised on my way down the stairs um, but I'm definitely a little bit more orange than I was upstairs so that's just something to note and I can really notice it on my neck from where I was putting it down because I missed the spot here and that spot is white and then my neck is just orange so I hope that it's coming across on video but I'm going to keep an eye on that and keep an eye on that colour um, to see if it does go darker and darker but it, I'm definitely more orange than I was um, earlier Okay, so this foundation has been on for about 4 hours it's 20 to 2 in the afternoon and overall it's still looking pretty good the only thing that I'm finding a little bit irritating right now is the fact that I can feel it. I can feel the foundation, it feels pretty heavy and I don't even have a powder on top either, it's literally just the foundation on its own. But yeah, I can feel it. But bear in mind we did put a couple of layers on because I was just doing it for the purpose of the video to build up on the foundation so maybe just not put it as heavy as I did and it'll feel like a lighter coverage but that's the main thing that's irritating me right now is that I can feel it especially when I'm paying attention to it um overall it's still looking really good I do have a little bit of cakiness above my lip and I'm assuming that's from where I've been drinking and having food and stuff so it's been touching the top of my lip so it has gone a little bit cakey there but overall it still looks really really good um, the colour, I think it has oxidised again, so I'll, it's not coming across in the video, but I have gone a little bit more orange compared to earlier, so I feel like this foundation is possibly oxidised on me, because it oxidised on me doesn't necessarily mean it will for you, but of course um, I can let you guys know more about that the more I use this foundation in the future, so I may just need to change the colour. Um, beforehand when applying it but other than that overall I still think it's looking very good so far so other than those few little issues there's nothing else that I can really report right now okay so it is 20 to 7 so this foundation has been on for about eight hours which would be my kind of normal way of a foundation. So 
I would have liked to have kept it on longer, but I just need to take it off now. Me and Kyle are gonna watch a film soon, and I know it's a sad film, so I'll be crying. <laughs> and all this is gonna be rubbed off anyway, so, you know, it's time for me to kind of end this video now. So this has been on for eight hours, and I have to say I'm really impressed by this foundation, and I'm actually generally really shocked. As you can see, my face is not oily at all. It's kept that matte um, kind of look all day long. And it hasn't really changed much at all throughout the entire day. Um, what I will say is that where my smile lines are here, um, I'm starting to get like a line now each side. Other than that, it's still looking really, really good. I still got that heavy feeling, unfortunately, which has actually bugged me all day long but for a good foundation i will just put up with it but for me it has bugged me all day long but bearing in mind like i said earlier the amount of layers we put on was quite a lot so i will just put less on um the next time i use it it looks slightly cakey on my forehead but that's my troublesome area so i'm not really surprised by that but other than that, it's absolutely fine. And you know my hollow eyes, um, I have indents under my eyes. I noticed when taking photos as well that it's really covered it nicely. I have some foundations that really brings that out quite deeply. Um, but I didn't have that trouble at all with this foundation, which is amazing for me. Because that's a really big deal to me. Um, as you can see, I don't really feel as though there's any oiliness on the forehead. This is only eight hours in, so I don't know how it's gonna look 10, 12 hours in, but I will be using this foundation again. Is it my favorite? Will it become my go-to foundation? No, but that's just my personal preference because I prefer a dewy foundation and this is very, very matte. So if you're oily, I think this will be really good for you. Um, if you're very, very oily, then you may need to put a powder on top after the eight hour mark. Um, but obviously we haven't really put powder on today, so um, I can't say for certain, but I think this should do really well on oily skin types. As I said, I'm combination skin, so I do get a bit oily and I get oily in the T-zone. And usually if I haven't put a powder on by now, I would definitely, definitely be oily and I haven't had any trouble. So bearing in mind, I'm not doing anything, you know, crazy in the house. We can't really go anywhere. So I have been running around the living room with Athena, but other than that, nothing crazy. Haven't been working. So this foundation hasn't been put through like vigorous walking around and, you know, day-to-day -day working activities. So please bear that in mind as well. And of course, everyone's skin is different, so you may get a different result than me. So this is just how it worked on me. And I'm really impressed. So I will be using it again on my lives. As I said, there will be something I use day-to-day, -day, but for me, I prefer a dewy um, look. And apparently they have just brought out a dewy version. So that's really cool. But I don't think it's hit the UK yet. I think it's just America. Um, and other places at the moment. So I will be buying the dewy one when it hits the UK to see if um, that works just as good. And maybe I'll switch to that when it's the dewy one, but matte is just not my thing. But it will be definitely something that I continue to use on my lives on a day-to-day -day basis when I feel I need a matte foundation. So I'm gonna look at the product claims now, but what's weird about this foundation is that I couldn't really find product claims online, um, which is very unusual. It's very basic. I've never seen such a basic description for a foundation before. So you can get it on Beauty Bay and you can get it at Boots. So Boots is 5 dollars Beauty Bay is £5.95. And I actually got mine from Beauty Bay because they didn't have my shade in Boots. So I got mine on Beauty Bay. I have links for both of those if you'd like to try this foundation and support me. But £5.95 for such a good foundation, lasting this long for eight hours is really freaking incredible. Um, so the product claims is cruelty free and it's vegan. And it made it onto the list of best full coverage foundations. So that's what Beauty Bay have said. 
Okay, so it says a high performing matte foundation is definitely really, really matte. So bear that in mind. So if you've got dry skin, like really dry skin, please bear in mind that it's very, very matte. So I'm not sure how that's gonna be with your dry patches if you have a lot of it because it's probably the mattest foundation I have ever worn before. Um, it just says uh, it had major testing and uh, different photo lighting conditions. So it's flawless camera ready every time. And it's a light diffusing complex to give your skin uh, perfection. And literally that's all I can find in regards to the product claims. So yeah, there's nothing else really said about it. But again, what I love about Beauty Bay is that people uh, put reviews and they put how they find it. So there's like, um, coverage so they say the coverage and then people mark it a percentage so um medium full 40 percent of people have said that medium coverage 30 percent have said that sheer eight percent etc long lasting beauty bay people who've bought it from beauty bay has la has rated that as 62 percent matte 42 percent etc etc so you can actually go into beauty bay read all the reviews see the percentage of certain things that it says about so that's what i really like about beauty bay as well but yeah on these ones that i can see all like five star ratings this one's a three sticky apparently don't feel stickiness at all but yeah i i can't believe it i really can't and the reason i put my glasses on is just to see if this stains um you know it gives that indent mark with the glasses so that's why i've got my glasses on at the minute because usually without powder i will get that indent in there so i'm wearing my glasses right now just to see if that will happen but this is the foundation this is how it's looking eight hours in you gotta admit it looks really really nice as i said we've got that line there um a little bit of cakiness on the forehead which is usual for me um, but other than that, the coverage is still there. Um, a little bit has rubbed off there, but I think that's probably from me. Like leaning and things, but it's looking beautiful, guys. I really can't say much negativity about it. Um, I have like a little bit of wrinkles here, and you can see them a bit more with that. But baguette, you know, we're all going to have wrinkles someday if you haven't got them yet. We should embrace them. Um, and it has left that indent. If I come closer, it has left that indent there and there. Can you see that? So that's the same with most foundations, to be honest. You're going to get that indent with glasses if you wear glasses. Um, so you may just need to put some pressed powder or loose powder in that area um, if you wear glasses and, you know, put them on your head like I have, if that's going to bother you. So before I go, the one last thing I'm going to do is add some powder to this just to see what it looks like with the powder. Will it cake up my foundation? As we know, this is eight hours later. So, I, it, you know, the results are probably very different than if we'd done it at the start. But I just wanna put some powder on top, just out of curiosity, um, to see how that actually looks. Okay, so my bad, I should have taken a photo of how it looks before I put the powder on so you can see the results eight hours later, but sorry, I forgot. Um, yeah, that powder went on absolutely fine. Um, it has clung a little bit under the eye, very slightly there, not majorly, just a little bit. Um, I didn't put much on the forehead, just a little bit. But to be honest, I don't need powder um, with this foundation. For just eight hours obviously because i haven't gone oily so i may even try this foundation again without the powder which is crazy to me because i always always do powder with it but the powder's gone on nicely it hasn't um clung to anything just a little bit around like this area there but other than that it went on fine so you may be able to put powder on top if you're somebody who likes powder but can get away with it i think so um yeah i recommend this foundation i actually really enjoyed it it needs a bit more of wear 
and I need to try it more but for what I experienced today I would recommend it I think it's great would I recommend it for people with dry skin I really don't know um, if I'm being completely honest it all depends on how dry your skin is because I do have dry skin as well and it's been fine but it, I guess it just depends on how dry your skin is because it's very very I know I've said it loads but honestly it's very 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 matte so if you've got dry skin right now just be aware it's very 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 matte and you oily girls out there this may be an option for you because look at it it's beautiful but yeah guys i hope you don't mind that i haven't gone past eight hours i was hoping to do at least 10 hours but to be honest it's barely changed all day the color changed um throughout the day a little bit it went a bit more orange um and i got that smile um line now but other than that there hasn't really been anything to report which is great so i don't know how much is going to change within those two hours anyway so that's it guys let me know down below comment down below if you have this foundation how did you find it what do you think about this foundation how does it look are you interested in trying it and of course guys please um throw me a love heart for all this hard work and please share my videos i don't know why my foundation wear tests do not get shared and i don't know why because if you share my foundation wear test someone who's struggling with finding the correct foundation for their skin may actually see this and think oh i'm gonna follow her because it looks like she's got quite a few foundation wear tests so guys i don't know why you're not sharing um my foundation wear test because you always share my live so i don't see much difference so if you guys could please share these as well because you may just help someone find their perfect foundation so thank you so much for watching guys um i think i may do the ordinary foundation on my next wear test but we'll see so i love you all stay safe and i speak to you soon bye